A new restaurant in the Garment District is cooking up New Orleans-style cuisine. It's a good thing because I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. It's called Alligator Pear, and it opened in July, uh, featuring cooking by Nola Bourne chef Dominique Lee. He's here giving us a taste from the menu. Chef, good morning to you. We appreciate you being here. Of course, good morning. This this <laughs> restaurant isn't isn't a small thing. 7,500 square foot Ooh. restaurant in the Garment District. I mean, how do you describe the, the uh, atmosphere and the food? Well, I would say that when you come to the restaurant, like you'll see that it's more than just that. It's a, a bar, you know, it's a lively place for you to go have a good time. You can come have drinks, you can come have oysters, you can come have a meal. It doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, you have uh, just this huge 75, it's, it's more of a space to do everything. Mm -hmm. You know, birthday parties, whatever you're in the mood for. Oh, it looks right. pretty fancy. And, yeah. and you're from New Orleans. Yeah, and you create and yeah, You created a menu to make the folks back at home proud. So tell us a little bit about it. Well, one, I wanted to bring something to New York that was, you know, tells you a story about New Orleans, but isn't so much just about New Orleans. So a lot of the food is inspired by the flavors of New Orleans, but okay. you don't have like this thing that's just like, this is New Orleans tourist food. Like it's like I something see. that's like more approachable. Oh, very nice. Yeah. All right, well you're gonna show us actually one of the dishes that you make. This is your catfish. Now I'm, I, you know, I've wrestled a, a number of catfish. <laughs> he wrestles So yeah. I love to eat catfish. Tell me about this preparation. So here what we do is we take the catfish filet and then we're gonna put it inside of a mixture of mustard hot sauce mm. um, and then afterwards we dip it in this heirloom blue cornmeal mm. that comes from South Carolina which is actually okay. one of the best like for like frying seafood in. Why is that? Uh, just because like the type of corn and like the flavor profiles go really well together. Whenever you go to the actual place in Carolina mm -hmm. where they mill it like it's just it smells so strong, but like yeah. it just doesn't smell like corn. So this oh, isn't wow. actually blackened. It, that, that's the color of the cornmeal. Of the meal. corn. Okay. That's yeah, yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, it's literally blue cornmeal, and uh, it's just totally incredible. So what we do is, all we do is we dip it here, and afterwards we, you know, press the cornmeal into it. And if you feel it, it's like super fine cornmeal, like, mm -hmm. you know, it's very soft and we get it all like nice and coated. Mm -hmm. And then at the restaurant, what we do is we'll rest it so that this stuff kind of like sticks to it okay. mm -hmm. like really, really well. So yeah. I can just place it on the plate like this and we'll rest them for maybe two or three minutes. And it's important to do that because yeah, why? Because what happens is you get like this amazing crust. Ah. So that's the key is like having Sweet. that crust that um, is on the cornmeal itself. Um, and like makes it really crispy and crunchy. Okay, you can get a napkin there fun. if you want to watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and so that is it, the final the product. Looks yeah. like. Ooh, that delicious. Is, yeah, totally it. So then at the bottom we have this chili garlic sauce mm. to kind of complement it, and then coleslaw. Oh, yeah, man. So it's really, really, really fun stuff. But you have some delicious sides that you brought with you too. Yeah. The potato salad yeah. is actually mama's recipe yeah yeah so the funny thing about that is is what she does is she'll she sent me the recipe then she came up here before we opened made the potato salad and then <laughs> made everyone that was working for me taste it so that they, they understood the flavor profile Very and nice. then whenever someone new is making it like you know i've decided like, i'm just going to give her the phone mm -hmm. and they're like she's like okay listen make yeah. sure you follow the recipe i'm afraid she's going to send me a well the most important thing is you don't have people that. telling you at the restaurant that doesn't taste like your mother's uh oh, man. <laughs> potato salad yeah no but I mean, I, she told me she was pleasantly surprised at the job that I've done on it. Okay, so, while, you tell, while you do that, go ahead, yeah. Craig. All right, so we go from the potato salad to uh, the alligator bites. Now, yeah. tell us about these. So, farm-raised alligator. That, farm? Yeah, yeah, okay. uh, from Louisiana. And we bring it in, we put it in buttermilk and, Ooh. like, allow it to, like, you know, really, like, tenderize it some. And then afterwards, we tempura fry it. And then this Ooh. like yellow powder that you see here uh -huh. is actually popcorn spice. Wow. Get out. Yeah, so like, you know, whenever you go to the place and they have like the popcorn and they have those little shakers that uh -huh. you can get. So this is like the butter flavored one that's just mixed with salt and pepper. Okay, and before just... it's all gone, tell us about this coleslaw here. Uh, oh <laughs> yeah, exactly. Into... Because... That's Thank for you. you. Oh, Thank see. you very much. She was being friendly. You were concerned. Yeah, I appreciate it. I was concerned <laughs> for a minute. Yeah. No, so the coleslaw, just red cabbage and Napa cabbage with some coleslaw dressing. 
a little bit of sweet and spicy, something really good to just go with the catfish. And oh you gosh, yeah, yeah. serve yeah. it with the catfish. Here. It kind of cuts the, the fattiness of the of the catfish. Yeah, as well. exactly, and just makes it makes it just like more enjoyable, something you that knife? you can have. Oh, I'm good. I don't. Oh, need okay. Now, yeah. now you have a well, take on really. fried chicken too. Uh, yeah. You can tell us about. Tell us about that. So. Uh, there's this famous chef from Louisiana named Austin Leslie. Okay. And he would, was famous for fried chicken. So we make a version of his recipe, which comes with like a sauce that's similar to like chimichurri, mm. but like a French version of it. Okay. And then also with dill pickles. And so that was like the accompaniments. And then he would just fry it to the, like, I mean, to the best fried chicken that you've ever had. And with those two things together really makes the complement of the dish. And it's telling a story about someone that people don't know. I've never had gator before. Never oh, really? had it? It's delicious. Yeah, it's amazing. And everyone's gonna say, what's it taste like? It tastes does like, taste like chicken. Tastes like yeah, chicken. yeah, 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 exactly. Uh -huh. It really yeah, does. Yeah. Does it sound like a freight train, too? Does it sound like a freight train? <laughs> tastes like chicken. And where do you bring it in from? It's Louisiana. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, not Florida. <laughs> and not from the random swamps of New York where people say they have gator sightings. <laughs> yeah. I just want to yeah. clarify that, because I've been asked that question before. Everything is delicious. Oh, thank All you. right. Well, uh, Chef, great to meet you, and congratulations on the restaurant. Good luck to you. Thank, thank you. you so much. Dominique Lee Alligator Pear is located at 150 West 30th Street in the Garment District. You can hit them up online at alligatorpearnyc.com or, of course, on their Instagram, which is where I'm going to be going in just a few minutes. Mm -hmm.